All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, data structures, beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 55. All right. So local storage offers methods for saving, retrieving, and deleting items. The items we save can be of any JavaScript data type. For instance, the set item method is used to save an item, and the get item method retrieves the item. To delete a specific item, we can utilize the remove item method. Or if we want to delete all items in the storage, we can use the clear method. All right. So here's how we can save an item. We can do local storage dot set item. We'll have a key right here inside of uh, quotes, and then we'll have a value like that after a comma. And the value could be a string, a number, or any other David type, all right? So a my task R array has been provided for us, right? So it's this right here. So it's a bunch of tasks already in there, but not on here, whatever. You know what, you know what's going on. Uh, we're gonna use the set item method to save it with a key of data, right? After that, we're gonna open the browser console and go to the applications tab, select local storage and the free code camp domain we see. All right. So, oh, oh, let's do that. Uh, let's do what this thing says first. Let's go local storage, local, local storage, right? Dot set item. Right. And then we're going to start with the key. We're calling this key data. Then we'll have comma and we're going to use it to save this thing. My task R in there. So we'll get this my task R copy that we'll drop it off right here. Right. So now we're going to open the browser and go to applications tag, select local storage and the free code camp domain. So let's press F12 to get the uh, developer tools up. Uh, what else? Do we do? Applications tab. So we're going to have to do this double arrow right here because it's uh, going to be right here, the application. All right. So we've got local storage right here. And we already have free code camp highlighted. Uh, and then we've got the data right here. So object, 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 object right there. So I don't really know what that means, but that's pretty much what they're saying to do. So let's press F12 to get out of that. Come down here. Check the code. Looks good. Let's cap it off with a semicolon and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 56 and we'll see you next time.